And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning. We're seeing some layering showers from overnight and some clouds across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming to start the morning. We're seeing all that moisture really coming in, just coming in from the southwest, and that's really going to be funneling into our, into our morning out there. So we're going to be seeing those showers and even some isolated thunderstorms to start off the day. We'll see some clearing as we move into the afternoon hours, and then we could even see some isolated thunderstorms and even some rain showers later on in the afternoon and getting a wider view to see where this moisture is coming from. We do have that area of low pressure just out to our west and we have an area of high pressure just to our south and with opposite wind directions that's really allowing for all that moisture to really move into our area really to start off the morning. So we'll have a pretty cloudy start with a chance for some lingering showers just to start off the morning and then we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds as we move throughout the day. But later on this afternoon there is a severe thunderstorm risk. We are under a marginal risk for some severe thunderstorms. Even the upper Snake Highlands across the upper half of western Wyoming. Those could even be some scattered severe thunderstorms and again just a reminder with those severe thunderstorms you could see some large size hail wind gusts in excess of about 58 miles per hour and or as a tornado is always at risk with a severe thunderstorm now timing out any of these storms as I put them in motion seeing around nine o'clock some isolated showers even across the central mountains we are seeing some showers to start off the morning even lingering into the western half of Wyoming and then as we move into the three four or five o'clock hour we do see some clearing out there but but then as we move into the later half of the evening hours, right around 5, 6 o'clock, seeing some moisture coming in from the south, even up by Dubois, an isolated rain shower or thunderstorm is possible by 11 o'clock tonight. And again, the, the chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms will continue into the overnight tonight. Temperatures right now pretty mild. It's 46 degrees right now in Jackson, Jackson 66 degrees right now in Blackfoot. It's 74 degrees in Pocatello, pretty mild. Even across the central mountains, we are seeing the mixture of the 50s and the 60s. High temperatures today will be slightly cooler than what they were yesterday. We reached a high of 96 yesterday in Pocatello. Will be a couple of degrees cooler for today, but those 90s look like they will continue for the rest of the week, even back into the middle, the middle 90s by about Wednesday. We'll have a high temperature today of 92 degrees in Pocatello. It will be 91 degrees in Blackfoot, 89 degrees in Idaho Falls. Jackson, 81 degrees for your high today across the Central Mountains. Expect a high of 88 degrees in Chalice, 87 degrees in salmon and again we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds pretty much across all areas throughout the day with an isolated rain shower or thunderstorm possible especially this morning and then again later on this afternoon looking ahead to this evening low temperatures will be mainly in the 50s even into the mid 60s and then as we approach the overnight hours an isolated thunderstorm or even a rain shower is also possible for your seven day forecast looks like we're dry tomorrow with sunny skies but temperatures are on the rise as you move throughout the rest of the week we'll have a high temperature temperature of 93 tomorrow, 97 degrees on Wednesday, and then we're still in those 90s even to close out the week across Idaho Falls. Expect a high temperature of 89 today, 90 degrees tomorrow, 93 degrees on Wednesday, and those 90s even continue across Idaho Falls. Across the Teton area, an isolated thunderstorm is possible for today. And then as we move into tomorrow, mainly sunny skies will continue over the next couple of days, but temperatures will be in the 80s. Across the Central Mountains, Salmon, Chalice, and Mackey, expect the high temperature of 88 degrees today, 89 degrees tomorrow, and then back into those mid-90s by Wednesday.